Hey BJ, let's talk about business organization. Business organization. What do you want to know about business organization? How do you keep your products organized during e like running an e-commerce business? I think first we should talk about why organization is so key. Yes. And for me, I feel as though just from experience over the years being an entrepreneur, I found out that you don't necessarily have to be the sharpest in the room or the most intelligent in the room. But if you are the most organized, then you're improving your opportunities and chances for success. So for me, I try my very best to display and organize my products really well, even though my customers may not be able to see them all the time. So for instance, this is like my backdrop for my office and I wanted to do something different. I wanted to showcase my work in a very inspiring way rather than do photos. You know, in most offices, people have wall art and all of that. And I just felt like, hey, why not put up my products? One, it will remind me or inspire me to keep producing and keep creating for sure. It would always inspire me to be grateful for the journey and the progress of the brand and then thirdly it will inspire my clients if i'm on a video call if i'm doing a video today and someone is probably looking behind me to see what's in the back and then just having some form of neat way to display the work that i do has helped me because customers believe that i'm living out what I'm preaching. So I think organization is everything. Organization makes you stand out. Organization says that you mean business. Organization equips you and helps you minimize errors and deficiencies in business. And it also helps you know what you have. And so for me, this is a reminder, when a customer asks a question, I can just look behind me, oh yes, we have that. And so anyway, let me kind of take you to the back and show you a little bit around. I hope this inspires someone, but yeah, I think organization is everything. Come with me, let's go to the back and take a look here. So many of you have seen the front area, which is the showroom for Nautique. We still have some work that we're doing on it, but I feel as though as my guests and my patrons come in, they can, they can see the ethos of the brand. You know, these people really mean their organization thing. And yeah, I think it says a lot. So Tom, show, show them a little bit around and let them see. Uh, we're starting to fill out the left la ladder shelves and it's coming together. It's coming really nicely. What do you think? This is my favorite room, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so show them around a little bit and then we'll walk to the back. The warehouse is in progress. We are starting to receive our shelving in the back. That is another big project for us, but I'll take you with us so you can see. We're walking through the team lounge area right now and this is also in the works. The team tends to hang out here and we work from here sometimes, so we're still still in the works, but yeah, come with me. I think for an e-commerce brand, one of the areas every e-commerce brand struggles with, struggles with is with minimizing errors. And we often, many of us often get our products from our manufacturers or factories in brown boxes and what have you. And when we do receive them, products can be in the box for a little while. And one of the things that we found is, one, it takes a lot of time to reach into boxes to start pulling orders. So we're working hard right now to get as many products as we can out of boxes and put them in their bins, or the sections that they're supposed to go in. So for instance, this is our wall of pencil cases. And because Notique offers several different colors, we have done well getting them out of the boxes. We've put them out into different bins and we're trying to make sure that once they come out of the bins, we label the bins so that whoever is pulling the orders and can knows exactly what they need to do. The product description is on the bins and then they can just kind of glance through. This also helps us know when our levels are going down without necessarily reading the reports from a computer. And so if you are a brand that is trying to stay organized with your products, I think one of the quick tips I want to put out there is do your best as much as space allows you to, to get out as many of your products out of the boxes. It'll help you see what you have. 
it'll help you identify them very quickly it'll help you minimize errors it'll help you minimize picking time and so that's what we've done with ours and i think it really turned out good we got our we have like a uh, let's see a high school high schooler that comes in for a couple of hours and this is her own area she's the stockist she tries to put things up on the wall and so she's working hard to make sure that all of these are out there so this is pretty cool uh, Tone has done a great job in putting labels on these and she works with the team to kind of make sure that things are labeled things are where they're supposed to be so you might want to try that with your business as well this has really been very helpful very helpful for us for sure helpful for us for sure and we'll continue to work on it we still have a lot of boxes that we have to get get through but we believe that if we take it one step at a time we will make progress and I truly cannot wait to show you the progress that we're making in the warehouse still we still have hundreds and hundreds of of boxes with products on the inside but hey one step at a time we're not gonna be overwhelmed we're not going to be put under any pressure we're just going to aim for excellence and aim for the, the essence organization we want to be a productive brand and we've chosen to prioritize the things that we do in that order. So I hope this has helped or inspired someone today and take the first step. Don't, 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 don't feel as though, oh my gosh, it has to be perfect. You can start with your little corner. I remember when I started Nautique, I started with a tiny little corner, tiny, very tiny. I think the space I had was about this and I still got my products onto shelves, out of boxes and put them on the shelves and it really helped me so you can start where you are and and aim for the outcome the purpose the why of organization organization has can take you places for me organization has taken me places and i'm building a multi-million dollar brand today because of organization or because of the benefits of organization so i have a question for you where will you allow organization to take you will you take the first step in building your business or maybe yourself where will you go i'll see you in the next video Bye.